Hello everybody, we're back with more really training in our commercial building. So here's where we left off. Uh, I think we got our bathrooms and room names done, but we probably should have held off on the room name because there's a few things we need to go over here. Okay, now uh, we got all of our we got bathroom laid out and then we also did our break room here. In fact, this is where we left off. And we just did our elevation. Our elevation, we don't have to show you how the details, but now what we need to look at in this exercise today is going to be brief. And we're going to look at uh, interior curtain walls, doors, and we're going to look at column furring. So what happens with column furring is, if we look at our columns here, um, we might make them a little shaded view if we want. Okay, so our column that we use, we got, and these are exterior walls, interior walls rather, and they kind of looking ugly. So. What you would do in this case, something I never really knew until recently, you would use uh, an architectural column. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, let's get started by well, all of them are like that. So this is what you do. So you go to the architecture tab under build and you make sure you just select the architectural column. Okay, now the default is 24 by 24. We obviously don't need that, but we're gonna go here and we're gonna edit this type. And I'm gonna just say duplicate. And I want this to be an eight by eight. And just call it that. I'm gonna say okay. And then of course we have to change this to eight inches as well as this. And we'll say okay. Okay, now I have my column, and what I want to do, I want to go and just place this column right here on the crosshairs of the grid line. There. Now, as you can see, this architectural column, that's what they do. You can't do this as structural, it takes the shape of the wall finishes. So it kind of cleans up things. So I'll go here as well. So we'll take all our columns here that we've done and put the architectural column on it. I mean, I never really knew what the architectural column, what good did it have, but I guess I see now. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, you would have to clean this up. See how the, the drywall jib board is, is, is taking shape. And this is going to help us when I get to our interiors, actually. So that's that one. Jeez, should have did this. Just wanted to show you this because a lot of things I don't want to just do here. I just want to tell you about. Uh, we got a lot to go with this project. Actually, pretty good one because we're going to do all systems. So there's another one. Wow. So we would do all these columns this way, which is pretty good. I mean, we might be able to do, I don't know, might be able to do place column in the grid, which would work, but let's see. Well, that one didn't work out too well. But you see the point here? I'm not going to bore you with these. I'm going to just do a few, and then I'm going to go in and look at, uh, yeah, let's put, I kind of like this. Let's see what happens here. Of course, we'll have to rotate it. So this is how you refer your columns once you place them. I mean, like I said, the structural column don't have this capability. Yeah, there's other things going on with them. So now I'm going to drop that there. And now, okay, over here. Okay, let's go over here for instance and take a look here. I don't know how to place all these in this thing. Uh, just the main ones, I guess, salon exterior. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to slide over here in this area right here where we have this. Uh, we got to have an opening here, a curtain wall here. So what we want to do here is we're going to place a curtain wall in here and just place a door here. So um, got this one done. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go with the, uh, 
architecture. Sorry, wall. Yeah, architecture wall. And I go into my properties. Uh oh, here we go. Architecture wall. So this is my curtain wall when I have it here. So I'm going to select this dot and drag all the way down into my curtain walls. So we're going to just go with this door front here. And I want to place it right there. Just there. Okay, now what I want to do here now is you see what happened here? It kind of pushed in, but we can go and select this guy and I want to right click here and I want to disallow this join. And then I want to pull this out just a little bit because I want to have this mulligan right against here. You see, we want to go put that right about there. Okay, wait a second. Oh, well, I didn't want this one here. I want to disallow this join. I'm sorry, disallow, so I just got to pull it. Yeah, sorry, you got to have this much detail. This is, there you go. So that needs to look that way. And then here, okay, that was good. So now what I want to do is I want to go and select this guy here. And I want to add a door. So this is normally, I normally do this in 3D view. Uh, so let's go to our 3D view here. Oh, geez. And I'm going to go to oriented view. And I want to go to the, what's that, the first floor we were on? I hope so. First floor. Level one. Okay, it takes a little while sometimes to do this. I don't know why. So now here we go. So there's that door where, that, where we want to place that door. So what we need to do is we need to go and eliminate this. And then we need to unpin the glazing. There's so much you can do with these things. And then we're going to go in our edit type properties and just go and say here, uh, should be some doors here. Yes, yeah, single, single glass. Curtain wall door, and then go OK. So now there we go. We've got our, let me go back into our level one. So there's our door on level one. So we've got our furring done here, which is pretty simple, just adding architecture columns. And that's what the use of architecture columns are for, you know, taking on other finishes and making life easier. So now let's go up to the second floor here. See what we got up here on this level two. Okay, we got this wall right here. Now we want to make this an opening. And what I need to do here, I need to split this guy because we've got this shape in here. We don't want to affect the room shape. Calculation. I probably should have did that later on, but here we're gonna go now, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the modify tab, and I'm gonna hit the split command here. This one, and I'm gonna split this guy right at the this right along here. Yeah. So now. I want to take this guy here now and just select it. Pretty simple. And we got this going here. We didn't even do our, oh boy, we need to put our column in here. Forgot about that. Um, we got architecture, architecture, column under build, this one. And we should have our default right, right, right there. So we go here. There you go. Forgot to do this for this level. There, I'll probably finish them up and I'm going to lay my furniture out. Um, so now what we do here, we'll take this guy, this line, and I'm going to just go and change this over here if I can. Never tried this before. Okay. That's the curtain wall, but I think I want a storefront because I want mullions here. Um, see, oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, now we got our, and I want to just delete this element because there's something here. 
And that happened because I didn't disallow this join. I allowed join. Let me see if I can disallow this. Okay, so now this should go here. Now that's my mode. Okay, we're looking good here. So now, just like before, I'm going to go on my 3D view. But this is my first floor. I'm going to go and orient to my second floor. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take this door. Let me make this something uh, consistent colored. Okay. Now this one here, I want to remove out and make it a door. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. First, you need to get this this here guy out of here. See? And then I'll just tab to that door. Unpin it and write from uh, edit type properties. I can go here. And there's my door. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Just wanted to get caught up with on things. We'll see you in the next video. Everybody, please be safe. Please subscribe. Have a nice video. I like this every day. Thanks again and bye. Be safe, y'all.